It is indeed a binge compilation. Drag out note over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. All right. What if someone got bitten by a vampire but didn't realize it, so then they go around and keep misidentifying all the symptoms, like... Dude, you haven't gone outside in a while. Yeah, last time I went out, I got, like, this wicked sunburn. Uh, are you still up? Yeah, I just started binge-watching this show on Netflix. I'm seriously craving something right now. Well, like what? I don't know. Pizza rolls? Um, why is it that you never come into my house unless I invite you? Um, it's called being polite. Dude, you stopped wearing your favorite silver necklace. Yeah, I don't know. It just started making me really itchy. I need this show. Hey, do you think Shadow could use his rocket shoes to cook a chicken? This was based on my likes. Thank you, Tumblr. Also, yes, absolutely. Damn. I need a new word for old blorbos that aren't really your blorbos anymore, but you still feel fondness for them. The series ended or you just fell out of the fandom. But your mutuals still put them on your dash sometimes and you go, aww. He's still out there making it in the big city. Blorbins is the funniest response so far. Thank you. They bin by Blorbos. Love it. If you don't understand why I tagged a certain post as a certain character, don't worry about it. Just know I'm right. You, an intellectual. The Demogorgon? Me, an idiot. The Demogorgon, Zola. Mm. <sighs> the thing is, I would eat the grapes. I would eat the pomegranate seeds. I would eat the Turkish delights. It doesn't matter what the stakes are. If you put a little plate of snacks out in front of me, I'll eat them. If you sent me to an evil fantasy realm and told me that if I ate everything, I would die a painful, terrible death, then set a charcuterie board down in front of me and that would be it for me. Like it wouldn't even be the torturous internal struggle to not eat the cheese. I wouldn't even need to be that hungry. <sighs> Mood. Imagine you're walking in a field at night and a UFO appears overhead. Bright lights shine down at you and you start getting lifted into the air, but then the unearthly voice says, Shit, 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 wrong one! And you get unceremoniously dumped back onto the ground. Then the light focuses on a frog that is about two feet to your left and picks that up instead. Perfect. I just want to see more villains who care about their henchmen. I want to see the bad guy fly into a rage because the hero hurt their very favorite bungling goon and it was nearly his birthday. How dare you fail me, you miserable oafs! Should be retired. How dare they bully my adorable oafs! Should be industry standard. Underlings having to hold back their dark lord like an overprotective parent because they don't want a famous hero to get outright murdered just on their behalf. Guys, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, that movie does exist. It's called Despicable Me and the Minions spinoff. Especially with what Rise of Gru looks like it's supposed to be. So, sorry. My art history teacher is like, there were zero women artists during the Renaissance. Well, there was Sononispa, but that's it. And I'm steaming because there were more female artists during the Renaissance. And I know this because I spent hours researching women artists in the Renaissance so I could figure out what to name my girl Ninja Turtle OC when I was 11. Dedication. Ocarina at Time Zelda really said, Go back to your time and enjoy the childhood you lost. And then her child self immediately said, Nah, fuck that. Take this ocarina and leave the country and don't tell anybody. And no one outside of the royal family will know of your accomplishments. Like, girl. God damn. Girl's first instinct is to send a boy away as far as possible as soon as possible. Uh, I like to believe it's because they just ratted on Ganondorf that he was going to do a bunch of things, and Link got sent into the Witness Protection Program. I could fix him. I could make him worse. Yeah, well, I could do this to him. I love this series so much. You know the euphoria you get when you're scrounging around something unrelated, and then you see something related to your special interests? <sighs> I would like to say that Egypt started graphic novels. Y'all ain't ready for that. Wait. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on the right. Fanfic writers really said, In any universe, in any scenario, despite any obstacle, these people would love each other. And I think that's very cool of us. Keith. Blood is thicker than water. Yes, but syrup is thicker than blood. Therefore, pancakes are more important than family. In this essay, I will... Ah, <gasps> oh, sweet skateboard! Oh, 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 it's not ripe yet. Ugh. Always some kind of... Fucking temperature. <laughs> A moment of silence for all the times we drew people with arms behind their back to avoid having to draw the hands. I really tried to scroll past this.
The denial was eating me alive, though. This post is my life. A moment of silence for all the times we drew people with really long side bangs to avoid drawing another eye. And it just slowly slide in my shame. Thank you. Do y'all dream about cuddling with Tumblr mutuals who live hundreds of miles away, or am I just insane? I cast curse and infest your dreams with Pikachu Man. How dare you? Not to brag, but I know some pretty big words. Like whilst and tubular. Oh, and onomatopoeia. It's my son. I'm so proud of him. My favorite part of the Book of Mormon is when that angel said, It's Mormon time! And then they mormed all over the place. That... that didn't happen. <sighs> First post of the day and I'm already swept off my feet. I know every digit of pi. I don't know what order. He doesn't know the order. Guys, don't hug me. I'm scared it's coming back. And if I don't see... Any Tumblr sexy manization fan art of the new characters, I'll honestly be so disappointed! Face holding is something that is so precious and personal to me. Yes, grab my face or cradle it in your hands. I'll gladly put myself under the mercy of the strength of those hands. Please. Oh, so all Tumblr ads are allowed to be weird, but when I, the full makeup human Pikachu man- Salt preserves food because it smells like the ocean and Mole doesn't know how to swim and gets scared. I, the sad part is, is I can't argue with this because, I mean, I don't know if it's wrong or right. My gender is Schrodinger's cat. It is both feminine and androgynous unless observed. Let's go away putting it. Yes. Such a shame that good soundtracks get wasted on shitty-ass movies. Yeah. Are Netflix a country? Negative numbers depressed? Newborn babies supposed to ribbit? Non-CIA or FBI? Nazis from anime? Narwhals, Nars, or Walls? Nintendo developing a nuclear bomb? Nuts of kind of nuts! I can't choose a favorite! My literal favorite thing in the world is when people get mad when Obi-Wan does a morally fucked up thing and scream, MISCHARACTERIZATION! As if he's not been a frigid little bitch since day one. His number one character trait has always been low-key manipulative. See you next Tuesday. And that's okay. As if that's not part of why we're insane over him. Oh, you're near divergent? <laughs> what non-human being did you pretend to be slash believe yourself to be in order to cope with the disconnect you felt from the peers during your early childhood? Envy zombies! You shut your mouth! Andy, punch this post! I do not get called out like this! A video essay about a weird, obscure side of Tumblr, except the further into the video you get, the more obvious it is they're talking about your blog specifically. I wish. Ugh, that trope is so overused. Oh, okay. What are you gonna tell me next? That the sunset is overdone? The sound of your favorite song is passe? The sight of your loved ones is worn out and tired? That we shouldn't revel in the simple joy of everything we know that we like? All because some of the arbitrary quota you've imagined? Also, to the people who say that a trope is overused, hey, nice opinion. Did a YouTuber give you that opinion? Sometimes I actually do forget that straight people exist for a second. I keep expecting these men's warehouse ads to be gay, but then there's there's a bride there too. Who knew? Masculine looking cishat guy wearing an ask me about my pronoun shirt. And when you ask him about his pronouns, he really excitedly explains to you that they're he him. Cronk energy. Oh yeah, absolutely. If I ever become a history teacher, I'm going to write gullible on the ceiling. Then in the middle of the class, I'll announce there's gullible written on the ceiling. After the whole look versus not look shenanigan occurs, I shall then slam my books on the desk, prop myself up, lean forward and say, welcome to history. Your first lesson, check your facts for yourself. That's chaotic evil. No, chaotic learning. You know, it's fun to chant Bloody Mary into your card side mirror three times and watch her jog and try to keep up. Wow, he being a dick even to demons. Are you a Winchester? I've been playing Portal 2 for the first time and I'm loving this new British orb thing they introduced. He's my best friend. No one tell them. This is fucking awesome. I asked one of my straight friends if he'd marry me specifically for tax benefits in a few years, and he said sure. He also said I could just commit tax fraud. You're going to light a fish on fire. No! I'm going to hit a shark with radiant damage. There is a difference. Saw a post that annoyed me. What the hell? I trusted you guys. That's it.
Turn up Tumblr again. <laughs> hey, sorry for being weird lately. It's just that I've been weird lately. It's definitely gonna happen again. I tried to convince my mom that I hadn't stayed up all night, but then she told me that she heard me clapping along to the Friends theme song every 20 minutes. Why are trans women so pretty and trans men so handsome? Why do aromantics give such good hugs? Why does Joltik want to be lifted to the stars by the buy and pen? Joltik is confused. Oh my god, my other son! Writing prompt. The news were shocking. In one week, a gigantic meteor was going to hit the earth and obliterate it. Chaos ensues. Anarchy breaks out. Governments fall. A week later, everyone braces as they see the meteor. Miss the earth. Barely. Things get awkward. Pretty sure there's a lot of fan fictions for that prompt right there. But not about government falling. <laughs> Gross. This chicken nugget I got is shaped like a heart, and I really think you should look at it. Aww. You, you gonna eat that? Game Theory, Elder Scrolls series. All the sentient species from the myrrh to the beasts are all descendants of mountain goats. Reasoning? All you who are morbid right now climb to the top of the throat of the world without using the 7,000 steps in your first playthrough of the game, and you all did it with ease. Coincidence? I think not! <sighs> As you had Duke in the rug. DM while the party is fighting the rug of smothering. I'm sorry, the what? Hey, instead of a stoic hero and a chatty villain, or a chatty hero and a stoic villain, imagine if they're both chatty. Just the villain trying their best to kill the hero while the two of them have an in-depth discussion about the opinion of pumpkin spice. No, but seriously, orange is a really fun color. <laughs> but your entire room? Whoa! I'm not painting my entire room orange. <laughs> oh. Well then, why did you ask my opinion on paint colors if you're not going to listen? This is now my favorite stage, for one reason, and one reason alone. Well, I didn't see you wob in. <sighs> Six out of ten, Pat. All I can do is rotate a fictional man so fast in my mind he starts to get motion sickness. Andy, quick, I need you on this one. Okay, take this picture of Rife and Medstars. Now spin him around. Ah, oh, thank you. Might fuck around and read a 500 page physical published book in one sitting like it's 2006 and I'm being bullied in middle school, so I take refuge in the library and hail books at a frightening speed that I've not been able to replicate since. God damn, OP, you didn't need to just kill everyone who grew up with undiagnosed ADHD like that. Well, shoot! I've learned something! To be honest, there has never been a fictional character I've actually wanted to date. Like, I want them to date each other. I don't want myself as a person to be involved in this scenario whatsoever. What would I add to this narratively? What's my thematic purpose in the narrative? That's immersion breaking. I'm the director, bitch, not the actor! Don't hide this in the tags, that's exactly it. The worst part about having mental health issues is that you're seemingly required to have a breakdown in order for people to understand how hard you were trying to hold yourself together. How dare you say such a thing to me? Yeah. It's like when people say, oh, this, this computer's not working so good. And they're like, no, that seems to be working fine for me. And then it blue screens, and they're like, oh, oh, we did have a problem. Notes. Three cheers for the brain cell! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip. Oh, shoot, I forgot how to count to three now. Alex Hirsch, anytime he can, and sometimes when he can't. I've come to make an announcement. Disney is a bitch-ass motherfucker. They're pissed off because my silly kids show. That's right, they look at my harmless joke and they censored it, and I said, that's dumb. So now I'm making a call-out post on my Twitter.com. Disney, you got a small dick. It's the size of this walnut, except way smaller. Fuck you, Disney. Fuck you. Oh, God, Bill's pissing on the moon! Hi. Hey, I throw pies at your people? I'm four foot ten, three quarters. Where's my pie? Where is it? Ah, uh, fell into the black hole. Sorry. Ah, uh, can I can I get that pie now? Sure, just go and get it from right over there. Guys, I'm phobic. Uh, uh, I'm just scared. You know, some people say rolling for stats in D and D is old fashioned and unforgiving, but I think it builds character. 
Yes! Two small indie bands on two different stages facing each other. First band plays their own original music, but the band across from them plays it all backwards perfectly. If you stand at the exact midpoint between the stages, all you hear is silence. <gasps> you were there. I accidentally read for 11 hours. Accidentally. Right. He's a nine, but gets naked in a sewer regularly. Which makes him a ten! Pennywise? Writing prompt. You work for a secret agency that deals with the supernatural, and you just shared a dumb idea with your boss as a joke. Hey, instead of keeping everything under wraps, why don't we just release all the info to the public, but pretend it's a work of fiction? You got promoted on the spot. Ancient cat boys, or Neanderthals, if you will. I most certainly will not. I feel like I've done this one, but Neanderthals. <laughs> it's Virgil. Yeah. To anyone who says Virgil is the coolest character in video games, I give you this. Virgil, always fighting his brother, needs a sword and demon magic to cause any real damage, lacks any sort of facial hair, has never de-haunted a building before, and isn't an Italian. Now Luigi loves his brother very much, can and will beat the shit out of you with nothing but a vacuum, has a glorious flowing mustache, has de-haunted at least seven buildings before, and is Italian. I think we all know who wins out. Oh yeah. You know, Pinocchio could tell us so much about the universe, he could randomly claim things like, the Big Bang happened! And his nose would confirm or deny our theories. Ugh. Pinocchio's not omniscient. His nose grows when he's intentionally being dishonest. Things heating up in the Pinocchio fandom. Double clicks ya. Windows asks me what to open you with. I choose notepad. I delete a random chunk of text. And save as .exe. Oh, thanks. I needed that. <laughs> My father told me once to never date anyone who talks smoothly around you from the start, because if someone likes you, they should be a little nervous. And honestly, I think that's some of the best advice anyone has ever given me. And I just told my dad about this text post and he got so excited he teared up and then he said he felt like he just adopted 40,000 new children to share his wisdom with and he hopes all of you meet kind, sweet people he would be proud of. <clears throat> Excuse me for a second. <laughs> Gnomes are just ground gargoyles. You shut your mouth. You're under arrest. On what charge? All of them. Literally all of them. I put my phone down and can't find it. A saga. Want me to call it? It's on silent. A tragedy in three parts. I'll call it anyway. Everyone stands around really quietly listening for a faint buzzing noise. A comedy. Andy, do you hear it? I think I hear it. <gasps> it's over there. Clueless stray cat surprises a McDonald's co-worker. <laughs> co-workers, Jesus. Rewind. Clueless stray cat surprises McDonald's workers by ordering a burger in perfect Japanese. I... I feel like I need context for this one. But I'm probably not gonna get it. I love haunting. When it's literal, I love haunting as a metaphor, I love haunting as a feeling you carry, I love haunting as a memory of past trauma you experienced or caused, I love haunting as a person, I love haunting as a place, I love haunting as something alive that you tried to bury, but it clawed its way out of a hole you dug, it found its way back to you! I love haunting as something dead that you cannot let die! Give me all the spoopies! When you're watching TV and your sibling gets out of the good chair to get a drink, it's free real estate. Sibling culture is willingly dehydrating yourself for hours to avoid giving up the seat you earned, Zach! Peppers are the spicy of the fire. Mint is the spicy of the ice. Carbonation is the spicy of the air. And vinegar is the spicy of the water. And ginger is the spicy of the earth. Why would you both say things so controversial, yet so brave? You ever hear a new song and immediately go, Ooh, the fake scenarios in my head are gonna love this. Always hot local singles in my area and never recently awoken bloodthirsty vampires. Shaking my head. Shout out to the girls who don't mind being called dude and man casually. Shout out to the boys who don't mind being called girl. Shout out to the humans who don't mind being called dog. Shout out to the dogs who will let you call them anything so long as you say it in a happy, friendly tone. And shout out to guinea pigs which are neither pigs nor from guinea. Y'all need to stop shouting and use your indoor voices. You ever sit down and think about how your gender, like, feels? 
Like mine feels like a smooth ball with a bright aqua blue lighting. My gender is the demon gore. I haven't. As much as I love, I would kill for you. It kind of really loses its impact if the person saying it is a villain who already kills at the slightest provocation. I would refrain from killing for you. I would spare them all if you asked me. Is a very sexy alternative. And a much more powerful declaration of love coming from a character prone to violence. Writing that one down. If you ask me what book I'm reading, I'll either go into a long-winded and enthusiastic summary of the entire thing, or just lift the book to show you the title and keep reading. Yeah. I've had enough internet for today. I'm eating myself into a pillow fort and looking up cute cats. <gasps> no, I will not elaborate. It's such a fun line. But unfortunately, I have ADHD and am incapable of shutting up. Yes, I will elaborate. Yes, I will elaborate, and that is a threat. Yes, I will elaborate, but it won't make anything clear. Yes, I will elaborate, but I'll forget my original point after 30 seconds. A retired Mr. Weasley casting a disillusionment charm on himself and going to listen to university lectures on astrophysics or engineering. Some poor sleep-deprived students sitting next to him and thinking they finally cracked as they hear random comments like, Fascinating, ingenious, or, Sorry, dear, but would you pick up that pen for me? My back isn't what it was. Followed by, Oh, Don. When he forgets, he's invisible. Beautiful. If my future S.O. doesn't stare at me like I'm their whole world while I stand in the candle section of Target, smelling every single candle before buying one, then what's the point? My mom does this and my dad always watches her. She thinks he's not paying attention, but last year he remembered the ones she liked and used that knowledge to get her a custom-scented candle for their anniversary. He had it named Target Sniffs. This is the cutest addition to this post I could ever have asked for. You support gay rights, so you must be gay. I support animal rights. Do I look like a fucking alpaca to you? Turns out I am gay. Holy shit, how'd this alpaca learn how to type? Diversity win! The alpaca's gay! The ultimate power move in a vampire-fairy rivalry would be the fairy inviting the vampire over for tea. The vampire has natural dominion over anyone who tries to invite them into their home. The fairy has natural dominion over anyone who violates the laws of hospitality, and neither can refuse the appointment without showing weakness. So it'd just be a constant head game of the vampire trying to maneuver the fairy into a position where the obligations of hospitality allow the vampire to eat them, and the fairy trying to trick the vampire into doing something that would allow the fairy to declare them a poor guest. Where is this book? I need it. Most movies. Girls change itself to impress boys. The Princess Diaries, cinematic masterpiece. Girl changes self to impress grandma. Well, I too would change everything about myself. It would impress Julie Andrews. I have done nothing but play Ark Survival Evolved for the past few days. Sleep, game, piss, repeats. Exactly what I. No such thing as wasting your 20s. Your 20s are for recovering from whatever the fuck happened to you as a kid so that you're ready to get weird with it in your 30s. Yes. Perfect. I love that we all agree that having a Tumblr post blow up is an inherently bad thing. And yet, PM Seymour content, wait a second, is literally a bunch of Tumblr users on his Discord server being like, show this to the entire internet, heart emojis. And then he does because they're an absolute legend. Bullshit. We're all just out here ruining people's lives. It's awesome. I mean, as long as someone's feelings get hurt, right? Right, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> Writing prompt. Aliens have invaded and are taking over. Their technology, intelligence, and power is unstoppable. They just didn't plan on one thing. The old gods returning. Ra waking up in some buried pyramid somewhere. Huh? What's happening? Thor walking around the surface banging pots and pants together. Everybody get the hell up! We have visitors and we haven't vacuumed in 10,000 years! Oh my god, Zeus is back to seduce all the aliens!